what's up and welcome back to the channel the name is ninja knight make sure you like share subscribe hit the notification bell up above for future uploads and check out the links posted in the description down below and thank you to everybody that supports the channel much appreciated so here I have an article from Jezebel and it says with a tagline, a supposedly feminist website. Now anytime you see this word in a sentence like this, you know yourself that you're in for trouble, that an individual is going to be writing about something that they have absolutely no clue about. So they say, who forgot to invite Chun-Li to the Mortal Kombat? <laughs> this is a serious article in 2021 when you have google at your fingertips that you could have easily googled this and saved yourself the absolute embarrassment that this article is this is hilarious so she goes on to say then cinema is back baby and in a big way forget the auteur films of award season where two people stand at the edge of the cliff and somewhere in britain pointing for each other but never finding a way to make their relationship work there's new Mortal combat hitting hbo max and everything is good she then goes on to say something really weird and it's Scorsese is shaking in his oversight spectacles watching probably for the 15th time the trailer for the latest film version that brings to life the gore of the original video game. What a strange thing to say and this is something that you're seeing now more from these media sites that they're taking digs at Martin Scorsese because he's very critical of the MCU. Now what we've long said about this on this channel is that I think the MCU is certainly very much so over I suppose indulged. And I think it's very much so overrated because it takes away a lot of what makes those characters human and certainly the demons that they have to face to be the heroes that they are. And I think it really is kind of a very lukewarm, melted down nonsense that Marvel generally pumps out. I think when you're looking at certain other movies, for example, I think you then see the likes of Martin Scorsese movies. It's like having a steak. You sit down, it's a good dinner, you're going to enjoy it. It's something that you're going to enjoy taking time to eat or prepare or certainly going to take time to eat. And then it's something that if it's a good steak, which Scorsese generally does with his movies, you're going to think about it for quite some time afterwards. Where does you put that against then the Marvel Cinematic Universe? And to me, that's like a fast food restaurant. That's like a McDonald's where you're going in and you're getting a cheap hamburger. You're going to eat it. You probably won't even remember it within 30 minutes and then it'll be soon forgotten then afterwards. That's what the MCU is like to me. But you will see these shields, these shields constantly then trying to take attacks down at reputable directors like Scorsese who has made incredible films. For example, the likes of Goodfellas that has so many themes and overarching stories that are within that story. That you have to really realise that when you look at that movie. Whereas you have the MCU and it's a cookie cutter movie. It's very similar. And a lot of directors have fallen out and walked away from Marvel Studios because they felt that way. They felt, well, this is actually not my movie. It's not my story to tell. Look, for example, what happened with Captain Marvel that they all want to talk about the director for that movie. They still had to hire a man to come in and do the action scenes. I mean, that says it all. So when you're looking at this then, you have more silliness that's been written down here below. And she says then, but being the astute film critic that I am. <laughs> oh my God. I love it when people compliment themselves then and are after making an absolute hames of it like this individual did. Top tier stuff. That I am immediately clocked a glaring error in the film. Where in all the realms is Chun Li? Now, for people out there that know their fighting games, you know the difference between Mortal Kombat, Tekken, Street Fighter, they will all know. And a quick, easy Google search will show you that Chun Li is actually a character from Street Fighter. Now, Street Fighter is a totally different game from Mortal Kombat. That is like saying, why isn't the Green Ranger from Power Rangers within this movie? Why is, I suppose, James T. Kirk, why is he not in Star Wars? That's what, like, this is saying that's what this is saying it's absolutely incredible and i have to say the omission or i should say the admission later on within this article is even funnier if there's a battle for the fate of earth then we don't need all the greatest warriors gathered which would include chun li and her spinning board kick and again then you have an, an individual then taking a crack at men again so again lives up to the tagline up above which again really just proves a lack of any sort of intelligence very low iq as we can see here. Sounds like a pretty big plot hole to me that the ultimate three fight is supposed to be won by a ragtag team helmed by Sonya Blade. No offence to the Sonya stance. <laughs> so, so this individual thinks that Sonya Blade is leading it. <laughs> I sincerely hope that the movie doesn't go down this line of thinking. It certainly doesn't look it from the trailer. It looks like Raiden's still leading the charge. But if they decide to make Sonya Blade the leader, oh my god. 
Now, this is top tier woke stuff from Mortal Kombat over the last couple of years, so it wouldn't shock me whatsoever. Absence of Chun Li aside, the trailer is very good, so this individual says, and then goes on then and talks about this. <laughs> Here's the update. The update 4 39 pm. Jezebel has discovered the answer to her question about Chun Li's erasure, and it is that Chun Li is not part of the Mortal Kombat megaverse. Wow. A simple Google would have gotten you out of this sticky situation that an awful lot of people have laughed at, including myself, to show that the lack of journalism and the journalistic integrity of these people that are writing these sort of articles. This is an individual that wanted to be offended by something, by a trailer that they're saying it looks great, and then in the same token is then saying, well, where's this character? That's not how it works. And this individual has completely exposed what it's like to be a writer at some of these places, in that they have absolutely no clue what they're talking about. This is the same type of media, by the way, that will be on the likes of Snyder Cut fans saying, well, we're disgusted at how the fact that you're out there getting the Snyder Cut. The likes of Scott Mendelson and people like this that are really annoyed, they're really mad about the fact that the Snyder Cut is going to get released. And these are the same people then that are looking to bring problems then to a universe that a lot of people have been waiting to see in a very updated way since the early 90s. Like, when you had the original Mortal Kombat film that came onto the scene and a lot of people loved it, and then you had the sequel that was very much so disappointing, and how long that this movie has taken to get off the ground and actually make it into production and have a finished article has been so long and something that people want to look forward to. And then you have this sort of nonsense then that's been written to try and have a dig at the movie. It's incredible to think that these people can write this sort of nonsense and that this has gone through, I would hope, a couple of hands which makes it even funnier that's gone through a couple of individuals that have looked at this and said to themselves yeah that's cool that sounds right and not one of them decided we actually check that Chun Li character who that is not it didn't even come to their attention what happened was they posted this article and people online look at this 347 comments <laughs> people online said hey, you're wrong and obviously then they checked looked at it and seen they were wrong and then at the end of it then they were like oh well we didn't know that's your job. That's your job as a journalist. I'm not a journalist. I'm just some guy with a mic. And I'm talking. And I even know that. So this is just the state of journalism at the moment in the entertainment industry. I think a lot of people, myself included, certainly over the last couple of years. And this is why I'm talking on YouTube. Because I, unlike this individual that's writing this, I'm actually a fan of these franchises. And I know what I'm talking about. So I think that's why you're seeing the growth in individuals that are coming to the likes of these places and the likes of my channel to listen to what I'm saying because they're saying, well, this guy knows his stuff versus this individual that has absolutely no clue. People have lost faith in the media altogether. They're not listening to the media anymore. And this is another bit of arrogance from a media site that's thinking, oh, well, this is just it and we're going to just have to go on past this. Not at all. This is after shooting the credibility of this site now down the drain. If it only had any credibility at all, even when it has this included. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is where we're at though. And the media, I have to say, it's hilarious because the media are certainly very upset by things like this. And it's absolutely beautiful to see. So anyway, make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell up above for future uploads. Check out the links posted in the description down below. Drop a comment below and I'll talk to you later. Look.